For decades, NIH has supported basic influenza research included on transmissibility, host adaptation, and virulence. The goal is to anticipate what the virus is continually trying to do on its own in the wild and to prepare for it. Such goals were pursued by the NIH-funded scientists Kawaioka and Fouché and could have important positive implications for pandemic influenza prediction, prevention, diagnosis, and treatment. Kawaioka and Fouché constructed variants of H5N1 avian influenza in order to identify which genetic mutations might alter the transmissibility of the virus. In their studies, they employed a standard influenza animal model, namely the ferret. This slide shows the basic design of the experiments in which the virus was modified to allow for aerosol transmission from one ferret to another. I might point out that one of the causes of the public misunderstanding was the widespread belief that the virus that was transmitted by aerosol from one ferret to another actually killed the ferrets, when in fact that was not the case. We feel that these studies provide critical information and it was important to determine if H5N1 virus that has this enhanced transmissibility would remain sensitive to existing anti-influenza drugs and vaccines. In addition, and importantly, knowledge of the genetic mutations that facilitate transmission may be critical for global surveillance of emerging influenza viruses. Yet, since transmissibility of a virulence virus was increased, this constitutes dual-use research of concern, or DERC, which is shown on this poster. If a particular research experiment is identified as DERC, that designation does not necessarily mean that such research should not be published, nor should it should even be prohibited in the first place. However, it does call for us to balance carefully the benefit of the research to the public health and the potential risk that the knowledge gained from such research might fall into the hands of those 